Where are they? There must be more. Is something wrong? No, nothing. I'm talking to myself, that's all. I, mean, I can see something's the matter, but okay. It's just, there's nothing that can be done. There are too many of them. Too many who? Renegades. Degenerates. Six months ago, they kidnapped my son, Rook, and they forced me to produce drugs for them. I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic. I held one of them back, Grade. But what about your son? They're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, they'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In a military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the wrecked car carrier. Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Brooks' fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. You all right? I'm, you know, yeah. They injected that shit into you. Who, who are, who are you? Aiden, your father sent me. Father, ah, uh, uh, dad. You're out of danger, I'll take you to him. No. What? I don't need you, dad, or anybody else. I'm doing fine here. Give me a needle. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You've got all your fingers. The bandits didn't cut one off. So it was all fake? Leave me alone. There was no kidnapping, was there? You've been tricking your own father into making you free drugs? Get out of here. How could you do that to your father? Didn't want this, okay? It's stronger than me. And now what do you want? You'd rather stay here like this than be with your father? Rook! Son! My boy! Finally, I've got you back. What is it, boy? Are you all right? Look, there was never any kidnapping. What? It was all a show, including that severed finger. But how could that be? Rook, say that's not true. I... I tried to kick it. I tried. 
I didn't want to keep taking. But I started getting high with them. When I mentioned you, they realized you were their former teacher and a chemist. God, Rook. I wanted to stop, to end it, but they wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. Come back home with me. We'll talk there. Really? After all I did? You'll always be my son. Thank you. occurred to me not in a oh, million years I, I say that's some profile would you mind standing closer to the light who me hmm yes I could I could definitely paint you but 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 no no I have to avoid distractions not if I want to finish my greatest work the greatest work? What's that? A grand fresco. My, my, my magnum opus. A painting of epic proportions the, the world is not prepared to see. But I can't finish it. I, I don't have the proper shade of red. Red? Yes. The reddest red. I need it badly and... All these idiot merchants have is some kind of pale joke. Without the reddest red, my project will remain incomplete, and my art will not find the expression it requires. Of course, I could get my hands on, but, but no, that's just such a crazy idea. It sends shivers down my spine. Let's hear it. Oh, my. Uh, are, are you sure? That... Okay, then. Uh, I, I have to admit, I already experimented in secret. And what I need is blood of the infected. Uh, but not just any infected. I find the blood of a goon is the only one that is apt to give me the true, deep red I need. I've been observing this particular goon in a certain area and uh, have taken to leaving out red wine for it to drink. Wine should make its blood an even more intense shade. It becomes rather aggressive after drinking the wine. Do you think you're up to the task of bringing me the creature's blood? Sure. Sounds like fun. Go, then. Uh, uh, come back when you have acquired its blood.
Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my God. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I, I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. Uh, if you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd, I'd probably kill myself trying to use it. Ever since I started listening to Free People's Radio first thing in the morning, the days have seemed brighter. Alone. What happened? I'm a pauper, brought low by my own family. Who? Yes, my own flesh and blood have brought me to this dreadful state. My own kith and kin. How can they be so unreasoning, so beguiled by phantasms? Woe betide them, woe. Are you going to tell me what's going on? My papa, my dear papa, departed this veil of tears a month ago, and his siblings, my loathsome aunts and uncles, oh, I spit at them, went mad with grief. They travelled dark paths and found an infected with the power to raise the dead. Ever since, they've been offering valuables to the creature, beseeching it to bring back my dear departed papa. They really believe that? Yes! They think their offerings will make the foul beast grandpapa a new life. Seems people need something to believe in, whatever it may be. And what does this have to do with your poverty? It is all papa's valuables they've taken to use as their offerings. When I tried to stop them, they threw me out of the house. I'll have nothing left. Only memories of papa and a gaping hole in my heart. I'd go to that altar myself, retrieve his belongings, but I, I'm a frail man. But you, you seem like a stout fellow. Perhaps you'd go there and retrieve his treasures for me. Well, if it means so much to you, I can try. Oh, lion-hearted. I will reward you a hundredfold. They make offerings in the evenings. So you have to go there under the cover of night. You'll find his belongings in willow-lined chests. You can wait here for the sun to descend from the sky. I'll be waiting for you in my crib on Lower Dam Air, on the garrison. The entrance is near the old hotel, by the canal. Farewell. E farewell. Yeah! 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 
got my brother killed. I didn't mean for him to get hurt. But he did, because of you. Stop conning others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey. Who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? Whatever, I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see. Before the fall, I was an actor, not even a good one. Oh, bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, as I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. I'm a greedy, lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, at least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes. Like now. You survived the ordeal. Keep the spoils for your trouble. As for me, the curtain's going down. <laughs> oh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache. And? Well? Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. He was yanking my chain. Yanking your what? Your boss said you'd be here earlier. My boss? Your boss, Eberhard. I don't know him. Damn it! Sorry, don't mind me. I am Ferenc Waller. I used to be a cardiac uh, heart surgeon. I'm Aiden, but who is Eberhard? At this point, I'm not sure anymore. Some guy I met said <coughs> he'd arranged to recover a pacemaker from the medical offices in the, in the quarantine building for me. Did you pay him in advance? I did. <coughs> that wasn't too smart. Ah, oh, well. 
I guess I'll just go after the pacemaker myself. I promised my wife I would get it. And I intend to keep my word. <laughs> what is a pacemaker? It's a little shock box. To simulate the heartbeat and to keep it beating. For those suffering from damaged hearts, it was the only way to lead a normal life. They're pretty rare nowadays. <laughs> How do you know it's there? I consulted there back in the day. So I know where they keep equipment like this. Where, exactly? Are you offering to go for me? Yeah, why not? If I can help. Besides, you promised your wife, right? Excellent. The medical equipment room's on the third floor. But it's dangerous in there right now. I'll wait until tonight when the infected leave the building. They'll find shelter around here for now. I'll be at the windmill. Good luck, Aiden. Found your pacemaker. Thank you. Now I need to arrange for surgery. I hope you can, and that your wife will be okay. My wife? Oh, I buried her last year. Natural causes. Nothing heart-related. I'm the one with the faulty ticker. <laughs> and it's running down more and more every month. Monica made me swear to take care of myself. I've been helping others all my life. The time has come to help myself. Okay, but who's gonna implant the pacemaker? I'll figure that out soon enough. First step was to get a hold of a pacemaker. Now what? Continue the race against time, I guess. I can't be the only heart surgeon left in the world. I hope you find one, Doctor. And soon. Thank you, Aiden. Take care.